हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिप्सी शिवा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू पिक सम फ्रेंड्स माय फ्रेंड फ्रॉम इंडिया हु लिव्स इन यूएस इज कमिंग टू विजिट अस फॉर फॉर अ वीक मे बी फ्रॉम टुडे टिल थर्ड ऑफ नवंबर सो इट्स काइंड ऑफ वीक एंड वी जस्ट स्टॉप बाय हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू द एयरपोर्ट पिक देम अप एंड वी स्टॉप बाय हेयर एंड इन द वे टू बाय सम थिंग सम कैंडी फॉर द किड्स सो जेनी इज ऑलरेडी देयर एंड शिवा इज वेयरिंग शू हेयर इन साइड And after that we'll go. Let's go. It's like it's like from our village. It's like two hours the airport. So we are going to the airport to pick them up. And it's in Vera Cruz City of Vera Cruz State. Una paleta chiquito. This one no. Another one. Okay, take this one too. Yeah, I want the. I want this. Which one? Yeah. This one and this one. Okay, give me. So the kids want some sweets, some candies, and we are in one store buying things. So in uh, Mexico, this thing is good that you can buy. coffees or things like that like 711 in india the same concept but there are many different brands of buying the same thing like x24 roxo fasti and many more here is the quality walls that is called quality walls in india so guys this is the way that's the highway right there very far if you can see trucks going up and down so that's the highway and we are crossing few villages to get to the highway it's a shortcut from our village otherwise we have to take like 25 kilometers more to reach the same spot and you pass by small small villages that are here in vera cruz state so we are all mere reaching uh, the highway that's why you can see the big truck right in front of me and there are the mountains and behind the mountains that side is the beaches here we reach uh, On the way, we find this beautiful shop for the other mortis flowers. It's the season time, guys. I told you so. Everywhere you can find these flowers, everything, everywhere in Mexico. This we are stopping by the gas station and look. Here is also the other mortis decoration everywhere, guys. is skeletons skeletons are ruling all over the mexico yeah and it's a big 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 gasoline station or petrol station with diesel in one side and petrol in the other side guys in mexico they charge approximately half a dollar for the washrooms but here is free this is chop the car to eat something Now we resume our way to the airport. Let's go, guys. Almost one hour more. We are still on the way, but look at the beautiful scenic view from the highway. And it's the highway from Vera Cruz Airport or Vera Cruz Port to Jalapa City, the port city of Vera Cruz State and the capital of Vera Cruz State. So it's a very important highway. and you can cruise easily around 80 90 km per hour and that side on the mountains and behind the mountains are the beaches or the or the sea or gulf of mexico which connects to atlantic ocean now i actually understand almost all the signals and uh, sign boards in spanish
Every rich one village is called La Antigua in Veracruz. It's important. Pues La Antigua es importante porque aquí vivió Hernán Cortés. So guy is the guy who captured all the Mexico, who conquest, not captured. All the Mexico used to live here in La Antigua. There is one river and it, this river connects to the ocean. But in this river lives crocodile like. <laughs> so they say the conqueror, Hernán Cortés of Spaniel used to live here. So that's why this place is called La Antigua. And Hernán Cortés uh, called this place Veracruz. De la Jave. See? De la Jave. De la Jave. So that's why this place is called La Antigua, which means antique. Bueno, el nombre original era la Villa, no, sí, la Villa Rica, Rica de la de, Veracruz. Sí, Villa Rica de la Veracruz. Y ya Veracruz de Ignacio de la Llave se hizo después. Sí, amigos, así es. Y... y aquí puedes comprar carne de cocodrilo certificada. Yo no quiero probar eso, pero está bien. We have reached to the city of Veracruz, the port of Veracruz, and on the left hand side of me is the Veracruz port, and we are just entering the city right now. The city is pretty big, it's one of the biggest city of Veracruz state. But, uh, we're gonna be going to the center where are the all the ships of uh, cargo. So it's a important, it's a it's a very important uh, port of uh, Mexico because it connects the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic Ocean to Europe. So it's one of the most important uh, port on the east coast of Mexico. Uh, the second number is Quetzalcoatl, and the first one is this, and it's a very ancient port. And from here, the Span the Spanish conquistors entered into Mexico to conquer Mexico in 1519 and as you can see it's pretty developed this is the main highway of the city <laughs> The kids are putting their shoes. Guys, okay, you can see one, one, Marco ship very, very, very big. What is the small one? This says BB Fisher. Okay, take a huge scenery for excavation and everything. So, how big we are and we are doing things. up and So, it's a And here are the kids. Hola. Buenas tardes. I don't know what's the event today here, but it looks like there is some event from Meta. It says Meta, but I don't know what it is. And that side there is one. If you see very far, very far, very far, that side there is one uh, prison. They build one castle there because. Uh, when Hardin Cortes arrived here in Mexico from Spain to capture Mexico, to conquest Mexico, he made this castle and here he used to keep the war prisoners. I don't know what I meant, but it looks good. So, guys, the ship is very, very, very big. As you see, there are the cranes. This is one ship below. And the other ship is the big one, the GLQVIS. I cannot tell you how big it is, but it's like one building, guys. Like very big, three, four buildings. 
guys it's you just just there where is the anchor if you see that side and the anchor looks very very big it looks like it looks like a whole ambient small guys from gurgaon from here to here that big guys these are the letters right here we are close it says we are close there was some event of cycling going on here before the tugboats which which helps to which helps to anchor the ships and to go back and here are the historical buildings of vera cruz after chilling here in the center in malikon we spend like half an hour playing with the kids there are few cars here on display now we go to the center of vera cruz port which is like central park and there are lots of shops over there so let's go walking over there and in half an hour we need to leave from here for the airport we still have like one hour maybe more or less they remove these shops because of some uh, renovation work or going on on the right hand side and they put it here all these shops so these are the famous traditional shops let's check what all they sell here guys there they are unloading the hyundai cars and that ship is from south korea that's why they are unloading hyundai cars from there you can see all the hyundai cars are unloading only particularly from the mark hyundai that's the i10 over there so guys we entered one local market here and they are selling tobacco they are they are selling cuban cigars here if you can see cuban Cigars from Cuba. Very strong, um, uh, US. Guys, we have come to an ice cream parlor. We have got an ice cream, mango flavor with chamoy. Chamoy is a flavor special from Mexico. So let me show you when it comes, how it looks, and it tastes really different. It's one Mexican thing that you gotta eat. If you are in Mexico, you need to eat the chamoy flavor everywhere. Guys, this is what I was talking about. This is mango ice cream with chamoy, and. There is one candy also which Santiago likes a lot. So he has taken the candy. <laughs> and there is one fight going on between the kids. Both the kids want to eat but they cannot complete the whole oneself. So both are sharing but both are fighting also. But it's pretty normal in between the brothers and sisters. And look how it looks guys. Mango ice cream with chamoy. and red chili powder 
After living in Mexico for two years, I can almost tell Mexican citizens that where to do things, where to not. Because one guy was paying there for the parking. I said, "Hoy no paga," means that you don't pay today because it's uh, today Saturday and you only pay till three, and it's almost five thirty-six. So I was telling him like, "Hoy no paga." So he says, uh, "Like why? Por qué?" And I just say, "Read up." And they say, "Oh, it's true." because it's only till 3 the parking and after that it's free on saturday and sunday it's completely free so yes guys i can tell mexicans that where they are failing in the rules of mexico <laughs> i feel the power guys what i forgot to tell you guys is that in here the biggest carnival of mexico takes place which is called veracruz carnival and this place is very very famous for that I have videos from Veracruz Carnival uh, of one year back. You can check out in my channel if you like, or I'll link the link up here. So you know Veracruz Carnival, one of the biggest carnivals in Mexico. So guys, we reached the airport, and here we our friends are already here. They come from basically from California to Mexico here in Veracruz. But they come from the Tijuana Airport. Tijuana Airport that is shared by US and Mexico, and they landed here domestically from Tijuana, Mexico to Veracruz, Mexico. And we almost reached. We are just in the entrance. We are just at the entrance of the airport. There they are, guys. And this is the airport shuttle that runs from airport to our city, Halapa. After the airport, we are here eating food in one restaurant. On the way, like uh, on the freeway from the airport towards our village, and from here it's still one and a half hour more to reach our village. We are eating taco al pastor. Because we cannot find fancy restaurants here, so this is what we are eating in one Thaba of Mexico. We reached to Chidravi from airport. We travel like one hour more, but we took one freeway to cut out traffic. There was one big accident over there. When we were coming, we saw that on the other lane of the highway, uh, there was a huge accident. And here is Mr. Ashok, Hello. friend from Gurugram, lives in United States, and we reach here. to buy some drinks for the night to party and guess what guys in 2 3 days there is diwali coming up so we going to be celebrate this festival here in mexico together so that's why we are pretty excited two indians in mexico celebrating diwali that would be the title of that video <laughs> let's see how we how we celebrate but here we are looking for whiskey amigos so guys to start the party we are buying this and tomorrow we are going to puebla So we are buying things that we we can take to Puebla. Thanks for watching this video. Keep watching. Keep subscribing.